Hello students, in this session of carbon and its compound, we will be learning about the versatile nature of carbon. Why carbon is so versatile? Why carbon is so special that it forms the students 3 million compound? Okay. Carbon is known as the fourth most abundant element okay, in this universe and in all of the living organisms the students, okay, we found carbon. So why the carbon is so special? The reason behind it, students, okay, the four reasons, okay, for the versatile nature of carbon, okay, those four reasons are basically your the first one catenation, okay, then the tetravalency of the carbon, tendency to form the multiple bond, and students the isomerism. So these are the four reasons because of that students, okay, carbon is so special, carbon is so versatile, okay, it forms many compounds, three million compounds are being there, students, okay, of carbon. So how carbon forms, students, okay, these many compounds, okay. The only element of students we have over here is so versatile, okay, in the periodic table. So, the reason behind it, students, okay, the first, let's begin, okay, with these four reasons one by one and let's talk about them in the detail, okay. So, first reason we have over here is the catenation, okay. Catenation is basically a tendency to form, students, okay, carbon-carbon uh, bond or in other words, we can see that the property of forming a student's okay, bond with the atoms of the same element is known as your the catenation. Okay, that is in the middle, we can place the carbon students, okay, and we can connect carbon, 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 carbon likewise. Okay, so the property or the catenation is basically the same atom students, okay, or the same element is combining with the same element students or the atoms of that same element again and again and again and students are forming different different compounds, okay. So, the carbon show students, okay, the property of catenation, okay, that it can combine with carbon itself and forms different 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 compounds, okay. The carbon has the maximum tendency of catenation, okay, in the periodic table. And this is because of the strong carbon-carbon students, okay, bond as compared to other atoms. The carbon-carbon bond are, which are being formed by students, okay, are being considered as a strong bond due to small size, okay. So, the bond forms are very strong students, okay. Bond forms uh, between the carbon-carbon are very strong as compared to that of the other students, okay. And carbon form these bond students, okay, by sharing of the electron. Silicon, okay, apart from the carbon students, okay, silicon is also the element, okay, which fall in the students, okay, family of this carbon. So, the silicon forms the compound with the hydrogen, okay, which have the chain up to seven or students, okay, eight atoms. But these compounds are very reactive and they are unstable students, okay. They are very reactive, they are unstable. The compound formed by the carbon-carbon students, okay, are very much stable, we can say that. And they have students, okay, strong bonding as well. So, that is why the carbon is being considered as a versatile students, okay. Carbon show maximum catenation, okay. Carbon can show maximum catenation. Apart from carbon, okay, the second element which show students, okay, the maximum catenation is basically or the sulfur, okay. Sulfur is the one, okay. Sulfur is the one students, okay, which show the maximum catenation and the sulfur come at the second position, okay, second element which show maximum catenation, okay. So, the carbon-carbon bond is very strong and hence students, okay, they are stable, okay, carbon-carbon forms students, okay, very strong bonds and hence they are stable. This gives a large number, okay, this gives us the large number of compound with the many carbon atoms students, okay, linked with each other. The point which I am explaining you over here students, okay, is that you can connect the carbon over here, okay. So, it will combine with the carbon itself, okay, like a chain students, okay, like a chain. So, all these are basically your the carbon-carbon. Now, chain can be of two, okay. This is also a compound over here, okay. This is also a different compound students, okay. If I take one carbon, it is a different compound. If I take two carbon, it will be a different, okay. When I take three students, it will be a different compound, okay. They will not be the same compound. They will be different, 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 different. So, likewise, students, I can form the chain up to students over here 8, okay, or 10, or maximum catenation is being shown by the carbon. So, here we have students, okay, a chain of 8 carbon, okay, 8 carbon. As you can see, students, okay, they are being connected with the hydrogen. So, the name is octane. The name is octane, students. Here the name is methane, okay. Here the name is students, okay, ethane. 
it is a different compound here the name is students okay propane so it is a different compound okay likewise students different 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 compounds are being formed and because of this it forms 3 million compounds okay not only this is the reason other reasons are there three more reasons are there because of that many compounds are being formed in case of carbon okay got my point got the point students what exactly the catenation is carbon can combine with carbon itself to form the students okay different compounds when two carbon or two or more students okay carbon atom combine with one another students okay they form different type of chains okay now different type of chain is also being formed okay the straight chain which i have just now shown you students okay carbon combine in a straight manner with one another but it forms the students different type of chains as well okay it can form the straight chain it can form the branch chain it can form the students closed chain or the ring chain okay these three type of chains are actually being formed what are these okay the straight chain which we have over here students okay in the straight manner okay straight chain as the name signifies they all will be in the straight manner students okay and one more we have the in this manner students okay this is an example so carbon 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 students okay the chain is of five carbon atoms okay in this case the chain is of five it could be four students okay it could be four carbon it could be three it could be five six seven eight nine ten likewise okay so the chain could be of any number of carbon and maximum catenation is being shown by the carbon branch chain okay in branch chain students okay a branch is being students okay attached to the straight chain okay this is completely a straight chain we have over here okay but to that students okay a branch okay like in the uh, tree students okay we have the complete trunk okay the trunk of the tree but to that students okay different branches are coming out over there okay so those are being called as the branches students here also we have the different different branches of to the straight chain okay so you can consider students okay this as an straight chain okay over here this is one two three four five but these are the two branches which we have over here okay in the complete straight chain okay this is being designed in this manner otherwise the students you can consider it as a straight chain but two branches are coming out over there okay so such type of compound students okay now when the branch is there okay when the straight chain is there then that will be a different compound now for these students of the compound we have or for these students okay type of molecules or the compounds of students okay we have a different name okay different name or such type of chains will have the different name so different compound it has become over there okay so it is like that close chain we have okay in the close manner students okay cyclopropane we have cyclobutane or cyclohexane now to these corners students okay to these corners like that we have the carbon atom okay this corner actually means carbon atom so carbon carbon and the carbon okay like that this is one okay this is in this manner so it is a different compound cyclopropane three carbon cyclopropane cyclo means because it is a closed form okay cyclo word is being used when it is a closed chain students in a ring manner okay so it is cyclobutane so the here 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 we have the carbon students okay in this case we have the six carbon atoms so it is like that here four here students okay three carbon atoms which are being attached in a close chain closed form okay got my point now the tetravalency of the carbon students okay the atomic number of the carbon is six okay another point okay this is the second versatile point students which we have over here okay first is catenation second is tetravalency of carbon okay carbon has four valency this also give him the advantage of forming students okay or this also give him the advantage that it can combine with the different atoms okay so it has the atomic number six as you can observe in the periodic table students okay it has the atomic number six and has the configuration students okay two comma four okay so four will be the valency four will be the valency in case of the carbon okay so its electronic configuration is 2 comma 4 okay four electrons are being present in the outermost shell so four will be the valency of the carbon okay and it has students okay four electron in its outermost shell therefore the valency is four that is the tetra valency tetra means four okay for one we use students the word mono for two that for three tri okay for four students okay we use the uh, prefix like tetra okay tetra means four okay so tetra pack likewise students okay the word you have uh, must have listened up 
So has the valency four, that is the tetra valency, thus carbon forms a students, okay, four covalent bond in its compound. Carbon forms four covalent bond, okay, carbon can combine with four different elements, students, likewise, okay. So it has the valency four, so it can combine in four different manner, okay. And uh, compounds of the carbon, students, okay, are formed with the oxygen, okay, it can combine with the oxygen, it can combine with the hydrogen, nitrogen, sulfur, chlorine and giving rise to compound with the specific property. When different, different elements are being combined, students, okay, if chlorine, chlorine, chlorine is being combined, okay, likewise, so it will become, students, okay, CCl4 or if hydrogen, CH4, okay, CCl4, okay, so it is carbon tetrachloride giving rise to the compound, okay, giving rise to a new compound with the new property, okay, new property is being there, okay, carbon tetrachloride is a new compound, so new will be the properties, likewise the students, okay, it will be having its specific properties like that. So, carbon combining with four hydrogen atoms, students, okay, methane molecule is being formed, okay, CH4 like that, students, okay, by sharing uh, one, one electron with each hydrogen atom, students. Hydrogen is sharing one electron, so carbon will also share one electron. Mutual sharing or equal sharing actually take place, okay, in the covalent bonding, okay. Third point, which we have over here is that, okay, the third versatile point students for the carbon is that the tendency to form multiple bond. It can combine with students, okay, by forming the multiple bond. That is the single bond, okay, in the case of methane students, okay, double bond, ethene, okay, triple bond students, again, we have over here, ethyne, okay. So, due to small size, carbon can easily form the double, triple bond students, okay, which are being called as multiple bonds, okay. So, this is a methane, okay. This is ethene students, okay, and this is your ethyne we have, okay. So, two carbon atoms, triple bond is there, okay, double bond, single bond. Can't carbon form students, okay, C2 molecule or we can say that it could form students, okay, the four bonds because four is the valency students, okay. So, four bond, can't carbon form students, okay, four bond. The next question is based upon this, okay. Is it possible, students, okay, for the two carbon atom to share four electron pair to complete the octate and forming a student C2 molecule? Have you guys seen C2 molecule before? I don't think so. I haven't seen, okay. Carbon cannot, students, okay, share the four bonds with one another. There is a reason behind it, okay. Although carbon has a four valency, it could do so, okay. It is combining students, okay, by forming the three bonds or it can combine with the students, okay, other carbon atom or with any other element like nitrogen students, okay, but it cannot form students four bond, okay, although four is the valency, but it cannot combine by forming students, okay, four bond or C2 molecule is not possible. Directly, we can say that C2 molecule is not possible. N2, you guys have seen, okay, N2 is being formed when triple bond is being shared students likewise, but C2 molecule, you haven't seen. The reason behind it is that students, okay, no carbon atom cannot, students, okay, mutually share more than three electron pair. The reason behind it is that actually as a result of electron sharing students, okay, when the electrons are being shared with one another, okay, these three, three electrons are being shared. So, the nucleus or nuclei of the participating atom, okay, nuclei of the participating atom are being drawn closer. Okay, they will come close. Okay, these three three uh, electrons are being shared by each atom, students. Okay, so they will come closer to one another. Okay, their nucleus will also come closer. Okay, when the electrons are being shared, their nucleus will also come closer to one another after sharing the three pair. Nuclei are so closed that the force of repulsion, okay, in the positively charged nucleus will push them apart. Now the two atoms we have over here. If I draw over here, students, okay, like that okay, in this manner. So, the positive, positive charge nucleus is there, okay, in between, okay, in between the two carbon, carbon atoms. So, when they are going to come close to one another students, okay, when triple bond is being formed, they are going to come close to one another, okay. And when triple bond is formed, students, okay, they are coming much closer to one another. But if you will form a students, okay, the four bonds, okay, the nucleus will come so close to one another that it is going to repel students, okay, each other. There will be a repulsion in the positive-positive charge or there will be a repulsion, students, okay, between the 
two nucleus okay of the two atoms okay because they are going to come up so close to one another that more chances are there or there will be completely a repulsion students okay between the two atoms okay so because of that they cannot come that much close okay that they can form four bonds okay so the atoms are no longer in the position to share a students okay one more pair okay and form a students okay four bonds because when triple bond is being formed, they have come so close that they are still facing students, okay, the repulsion over there. But you are saying students, okay, if it share four bond, then there will be a complete repulsion, okay, and the atoms are not going to come close to one another, okay. So is this point clear that why the carbon students, okay, do not form C2 molecule, okay, because of the repulsion in the nucleus students, okay, the atoms come so close to one another. The four point which we have over here is the isomerism, okay, for for the versatile nature of carbon. Okay, so compound having the same molecular formula but different structural formula are known as your the isomers. Okay, isomers are the one students, okay, which are having the same molecular formula. C five H twelve, okay, is a molecular formula students, but it can form a different different type of students, okay, compound over there based upon their structures like. So, and the phenomena of the existence of the isomers is known as your isomerism, okay. Let's take the example, the isomers of the pentane having the formula C5H12, okay. So, one structure which we can form over here in the straight chain manner, okay. That is the five carbon atoms are being attached in this manner, students, okay. Five carbons are being attached in the straight chain form, okay, like in a linear form, okay. But we can form a students, okay, a branch chain, okay. We can form a students, okay, uh, over here students, okay, two branches which we have created over there, okay. So, it will be a different compound. That one, okay, having the name students pentane, here it will have a different name students, okay. Isopentane, then it will be having the neopentane, okay. This is your isopentane, okay, having the name isopentane students, okay. If you count the number of carbon atom, okay, in the complete compound, it will come out to be as your again students okay uh, basically c5h12 okay it is going to come out to be as your c5h12 the formula is same formula is same but the name is different okay neopentane students isopentane neopentane okay likewise so as the number of carbon students increases the com in the compound basically okay number of isomers also increases when you take a student six carbon atom chain, okay, then more of the isomers are possible. If you take seven, more are possible. So as the number of carbon atom increases in the molecular students in the compound, more are the chances that there will be students, the isomers likewise. So these are the four properties which we have learned about the carbon students, okay, that why the carbon is so versatile, why the carbon is so special, okay, that it can form students these multiple compound, three million compound. I hope you have understood the reason over there, okay? And we'll see you guys in another one. Thank you.